The Bersenio administration is presently trying to strike a balance between protecting the environment and promoting economic development in the Mountain Pine Ridge area. If you are familiar with the area, you would agree that the beauty of the mountainous terrain is incomparable. The forest makes up 7.7% of Belize's landmass and provides water to over 35% of the population. Over the weekend, our news team, accompanied by government officials, journeyed through the rugged roads of the mountain Pine Ridge to Las Cuevas Research Center. We traveled through the rough mucky roads for over three hours before arriving at the Chalio Dam where the Macal River converges with the Raspacula River. While it is well known that the area is tormented by Guatemalan poachers, that is now being compounded by another possible threat that the government is trying to mitigate. With the 26.4 miles of the Caracol Road now being paved, it will attract new businesses and construction. The concern is the price that the environment and the Chiquibble National Park specifically will have to pay due to future development in the area. The Friends for Conservation and Development has been working hard at creating that balance between the socio-economic dwells of development through the integration of a good governance framework on sustainable development. Executive Director Rafael Manzanero, who led this weekend's expedition out west, explained that they are not against economic development. The opening and the upgrade of the road to Caracol, you know, certainly that is going to open up more the area that has for a long, long time really been more inaccessible. The Chiqui Bull, Natural Arch, um, Sabo Chico, all of those zones. So accessibility can, of course, bring other challenges if it's really unregulated. The important thing here is going to be really to be regulated. In other words, there has to be a system in place of monitoring and basically doing the kind of the assessments on how the visitation, you know, recreation, public use can basically be more now coming into these areas. Um, so I think regulations are going to be really primary of importance um, as we enter then into another interface for these areas that once again they were inaccessible but now they become much more open. One of the critical things is then how do we really approach it from a sustainable development phase. Um, the planning has to be part of it because certainly there are different richness or rich resources in the area. The question is going to be then the zonation, the zoning of these particular areas for multiple uses. I mean, in other words, there are areas that should be completely as headwater. That means highly protected. There could be areas for multiple use. And I'm talking about the generic mountain pine ridge and the Chiquibul zones. Um, so I think that is going to be one. Now, really to make this thing you know, really possible, it requires a governance framework that has been basically discussed over the last two days what kind of administration and governance is being put in place really to ensure that those mechanisms are really being, I mean, not only really put there, but basically implemented. And that, I think, is going to be the key you know, matter for sustainable development, a strong governance framework that is robust and basically that can do, you know, from that approach, the sustainable development phase. One of the persons who was involved in drafting of the sustainable development plan for the Chiqui Bull and Mountain Pine Ridge Complexes was the Chief Executive Officer in the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Dr. Kenrick Williams. CEO Williams noted that they are looking at ways that the government can strengthen collaboration with FCD in acquiring requisite resources to help the development of the group's financial arm to upgrade the protection of the area. The ministry is also seeking to support the efforts of the FCD by looking over the legal agreement of trustees appointed to maintain the conservation of the Western Maya Mountains and the Chiquibul National Reserve. One of the key areas we looked at, a key component of that sustainable development plan for this Chiquibul complex is the governance framework. That is exactly who is going to be involved in, in the process. There's several interests um, within the, the Caracol, Chiquibul, Mountain, Pine Ridge uh, complex. There's the, the headwaters and natural resource management component, ecosystem service component, there's tourism, there, there's military and board national security issues. Um, there, there's other areas of development, uh, extraction, forest, all of these key areas. And so uh, this governance assessment, look at how we come together in a more collaborative approach 
to management of a key area like the like the Chicky Bull Forest Reserve or Chicky Bull Forest proper, um, Mountain Pine Ridge and some of the other key areas. Um, and so the idea is to, to, to look at those interests within the region and get representative participation in, in governance of the area. The $280 million investment of upgrading the Caracol Road is one that was greeted with controversial views prior to the project taking off. Reports indicate that the development of the area could prove detrimental to the waterheads, which is a direct source of water for nearby villages. Minister of Sustainable Development and Disaster Risk Management, Orlando Habet, expressed the need to ensure the sustainable protection of the waterways and beauty of the jungle that can only be fathomed by experiencing the dense tropical environment. We can see that coming in, especially in the Pine Ridge area before we reach the Chiquibul, um, there's a lot of denuding uh, of the forest and um, we're losing a lot of uh, our biodiversity. And so um, as a government, we need to make certain that uh, this biodiversity is maintained. Where we can rebuild and restore, well, we also have to do some restoration. But in the larger scale, in the Chiquibul area, we need to uh, continue protecting um, and also make certain that um, the roles that are being played by government uh, in regards to the forestry department, we have a new uh, unit, the biodiversity unit that has to be uh, also playing a role, um, that these uh, work together with the government of Belize along with these uh, conservation groups that are doing the, the, the conservation. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.